first question is not related to topic which we already done. Okay, question three is there. Yeah, this question is about balancing the question three. So we have to balance this equation. Aqueous ammonium sulfate uh, is warm with sodium hydroxide. The pungent smelling gas ammonia is produced. We have to balance this equation. And I told whenever we try to balance, we start with oxygen followed by hydrogen and at the last other element. So if we start with oxygen, when we check the number of oxygen, the total number of oxygen, what we have, 4 plus 1, we have 5 oxygen on the left hand side. On the right hand side, 4 plus 1, we already have 5 oxygen, so it means oxygen is balanced already in this question. Then we can check hydrogen. So when we check hydrogen, this 4 is multiplied by 2. So there are 8 hydrogen atoms. And when we check the other side, we have 3 and 4, 5. So hydrogen is not balanced because on the left hand side, we have 8 hydrogen, but on the right hand side, there's a 3 and 4, 5. So we have six high uh, five hydrogen we want to make eight so how i can make this eight if i put two here because this two is multiplied by three two multiplied by three what it will make six and six plus two so that will make eight hydrogen so when i put two i balance the hydrogen so hydrogen is balanced now we, we have to balance other elements so to balance other element on the right, right hand side you can see how many sodium are there two on the left hand side how many sodium are there one so what we have to do we have to put two here so that the sodium will be balanced so this sodium is balanced now now when we put two here the hydrogen balancing again or oxygen balancing again changes so we have to balance them again So if I want to balance the oxygen again here, as you can see, there are four oxygen and this two is multiplied. So on the left hand side, we have six oxygen. So on the right hand side, we already also need six oxygen. So four plus one, five are there. So which number I should write to make six oxygen. So I should put two. So when I put two, it will make six oxygen. So this equation is balanced in terms of all the element so it is balanced in terms of hydrogen oxygen nitrogen sodium as well as sulfur then the next part Ammonia is a pungent gas and it is prepared at the front of a lab. The pungent smell of ammonia spread throughout the lab slowly. Name the process that occur when ammonia gas spread throughout the lab. So what we call the movement of the gas as it moves from one region to another. Yeah, that's good. We call that as diffusion. So we'll write here the answer as diffusion. The second part explain using the idea about the particle why ammonia gas is spread throughout the lab. So basically we have to explain diffusion. So how we explain diffusion or why diffusion occur? Because in gases the particles are moving randomly.
the particles are moving randomly and free to move so they travel or say they uh, so they move from region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration so because the particles are moving randomly in the gases and they are free to move so they easily travel from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration yeah they are asking why that because that is the reason because what happened look when we have solid we don't find diffusion in solid but we find diffusion in gases why we find diffusion in gases because in gases the particles are free to move they are moving randomly so they can go from a, they can go anywhere that's why if we have gas in this region after some time we can smell this gas to another point because the particles can move randomly they are free to move that is why they move from one place to another is it clear this part so if they ask why the diffusion occur or explain the process of diffusion so you will always mention because the particles are free to move they or particles can move randomly that's why they can move easily from region of higher concentration to lower in liquid diffusion can occur but not at a greater rate the third part explain why carbon dioxide spread through a lab slower than ammonia when we find the mass of carbon dioxide the carbon dioxide mass is 44 how we got the mass because carbon is 12 and oxygen is 16 multiplied by 2 and where ammonia is 14 nitrogen and 3 hydrogen so it will be 17 the question is why carbon dioxide spread slower compared to ammonia so what is the reason because as we know the heavy gases its molecules have more mass that's why a carbon dioxide molecules are heavier so they move slower so we just have to mention that the molecules of carbon dioxide are heavier that's why they can move slower yeah compared to ammonia So heavy particles move slower as compared to the lighter particles. Uh, this question is about uh, air is a mixture of gases. State the percentage of pre, uh, clean dye air which is oxygen what is the percentage of oxygen in the clean dry air you have to give your answer in the nearest whole number that's 21 percent good oxygen and nitrogen are useful gases they are obtained from air name the process used to separate oxygen from nitrogen oxygen and nitrogen from liquid air we use fractional distillation good it's better you all try to participate because it shows your understanding of the topic. I will answer each question which I'm discussing, but if it's better, you can use a chat to state the answer, or you can you also use the screen annotation. State the property of oxygen and nitrogen that allow the gases to be separated by this process. So. So the property of a gas which on the basis the fraction distillation base that is the boiling point because they have different boiling points 
That's why they are separated at different temperature. So in exam, you have to write boiling point instead of writing short BP, it should be a complete boiling point. For answering, you can write BP here as a short. Then part C, we have to complete this diagram, a dot and cross. So carbon belongs to group four. It will share four electron and unshared will be zero. The part one contain two marks. Yeah, one mark is for mentioning fractional and the other mark is for mentioning distillation. That's why it's of two marks. Like because there are two types of distillation, simple distillation and fractional distillation. So if you only write distillation, you will get one mark. If you write simple distillation, distillation is involved, you'll get like both marks will be deducted. So it should be fractional distillation. So carbon belongs to group four. So it will share four electron and unshared will be zero and oxygen belongs to group six. So it will share two and unshared will be four. So we always start with the surrounding one. Yeah, you can use the screen annotation to complete. Like if this is for oxygen, then carbon will also bring two. And oxygen bring two, carbon bring two, and remaining six unshared electron is there for oxygen. So this is a structure of carbon dioxide. So this was from paper 4, October 2020, and we discussed question number 3 and question 4. 3 and uh, 